Both solo laners are coming towards the mid lane. There's the flash! Follow Wolf with a giant knock. is gonna find three with the ultimate. He flies on top and Perks is down! In Game 3 of the 2017 Mid-Season Invitational Finals between SK Telecom T1 and G2 Esports, SKT's support Wolf made a game-winning play by locking up multiple key members of G2 and allowing SKT to take a 5-for-1 fight and Baron. Welcome to The Breakdown. I'm Zyrene, and this week, we're going to look at exactly how SKT set up this impeccable engage. Moments like this don't just happen, they're constructed so let's take a look at what SKT do to put their enemies in losing positions. G2 have a team fighting composition. Expects Galio and Trix Olaf are the frontline tanks, and look to peel for Perks' Orianna, Sven's Ash, and Mithy's Misfortune. SKT have a composition that is built for smaller skirmishes due to their high damage and pick potential. 32 minutes into the game, G2 are only down 3,500 gold, but have lost vision control of the Baron Pit. SKT leverage their TP advantage to look for a 1-3-1 split of the map, which is a great neutral position for their composition to play from. They can collapse as 5, have an unanswerable TP from Huni in a side lane, and have shoving side waves to potentially pick up turrets or Baron. G2 want to answer the 1-3-1, by shoving the midwave and getting control of the center of the map. This would put them in a position to then pivot to either take SKT's mid turret, look for an engage with Sven's Ash Arrow, or at the very least, regain control of the Baron Pit. Let's get into it. Wolf is spotted by G2 in the topside river. He then runs across mid lane to the right side, knowing G2 want to push mid. Wolf also knows it is very unlikely to be warded here as the Baron area has been the focus for both teams' wards. Huni's rumble is early on his roam, but he doesn't want to be spotted by G2's wards. So he spends a total of four seconds standing and waiting so he can crash into the team fight at the perfect moment. If Huni shows earlier than this, there's the potential that G2 retreat. Sven also has Ash Arrow available, and could have then used it on the flashless rumble as one of the most effective ways to deal with a flanker is to turn on them and burst them down. Peanuts Lee Sin postures on the left side of the lane, opposite where Wolf is hiding. This draws expects attention away from his carries as he needs to position himself between them and the potential Lee Sin engage. Bang puts down a diagonal trap line in front of his turret that has just enough room on the bottom side for members of G2 to slip by. And with their desire to zone Bang off of the minions and delay the wave clear, G2 avoid Bang's traps, but fall right into Wolf's. All of G2's carries have now been herded to the right side of mid lane by the positioning of both Peanuts Lee Sin and Bang's traps. G2 have a moment of hesitation as they decide between getting the turret and retreating. But the decision is already too late as SKT's side lanes are about to arrive. Wolf flashes the wall and lands a three-man grasping root on Sven, Perks, and Trick. Immediately, Wolf follows that up with a perfectly layered Stranglethorn that also knocks up the same three members of G2. SKT use this window of crowd control to eliminate G2's biggest teamfight threat in Perks' Orianna. Peanut closes the distance with his previously connected Sonic Wave, Ward hops over to Perks, and throws all of his damage into him as Huni's Rumble arrives and lays down a beautiful equalizer on top of the CC. This finishes off Orianna before she can even cast Shockwave. As Perks falls, Faker is about to crash into the top side of the fight, so Huni redirects his attention onto Sven's Ash, who is the only big remaining threat on G2. Huni walks around and pinches in Sven and Expect, while the rest of G2 have been routed back toward their base. The Faker Cavalry arrives to team up with Peanut and dispatch the two G2 stragglers as the fight goes completely in SKT's favor. This play was 17 seconds in the making, from when Wolf was originally spotted in the top river and made his way down to the Raptor camp. Even though SKT didn't have a tank or a traditional team fighting comp, they positioned their threats in a way that separated G2's tanks from their carries and employed flanking to create threats from multiple angles. But there is another layer of difficulty here. The timing had to be perfect. We saw Huni's rumble waiting in the river because he was early, but Wolf Zyra 
also had an opportunity to jump the gun and get an even better grasping route that would have locked up four members of G2, but the rest of the team wouldn't have been in a position to execute the fight. The timing was essential for SKT to win this fight as convincingly as they did. The whole team of SKT played a part in orchestrating Wolf's game-winning combo, but Wolf had to see that perfect opportunity and execute on it. It's moments like these that earned Wolf Finals MVP at MSI. He didn't rush his engage, and SKT avoided the strengths of G2's composition while playing to and setting up their own. All of this would result in SK Telecom T1 defending their title of MSI Champions.